Hey y'all, it's Pierrebot from Game Press, and we are here with next week's events, and the theme is Flocks. It's going to start on Wednesday, September 14th, and go through Tuesday, September 20th. And as usual, we're going to go through all the different creatures, uh, the options you have to dart, and what we think you should go for. So first off, on Wednesday and Thursday, we have 18 attempts at commons. Celoro Cerabis, which is a park, day, dawn, dusk, and Sinoceropteryx, which is a local three anytime. Um, I think Celoro Cerabis is actually the better option of the two. Um, it's got a better hybrid overall, and it's a park creature, which is often uh, more difficult for people to get to. So I think that's going to be the best options of the two commons. Friday and Saturday, we have 12 attempts at epics. We have Ignorognathus, which is an exclusive. Lystrosaurus, which is a local three anytime. Microraptor, which is a local two anytime. And Moros Intrepidus, which is an exclusive. Definitely go Moros Intrepidus. It's the newest creature. Um, it's an exclusive creature. And it has a hybrid that most people are hoping to unlock before the um, unique skills tournament that we have in a couple of weeks. Uh, so I definitely think that's going to be the best option of the four. Sunday, we get three attempts at a legendary or multiple legendaries, if you would like. We have Ankylodactylus, which is a hybrid of Preondactylus and Ankylodicurus. Ankylodicurus. We have Dreddactylus, which is a hybrid of Dreadnoughtus and Preondactylus. Dodocevia, which is a hybrid of Dodo and Inostransevia. Lystrosuchus, which is a hybrid of Lystrosaurus and Ineosuchus. And then we have Tarbognathus, which is a hybrid of Tarbosaurus and Compsognathus Gen 2. Honestly, um, it kind of depends on where you are right now. If you're really heavily focused on um, tournament creatures, Ankylodactylus and Dreadactylus are both fantastic tournament creatures. They're one of the few counters to Rexy, actually, in the legendary format. Um, Tarbognathus is also a very good flock legendary creature on its own, but it also fuses with Beta um, for what we think is the best creature in the game, Comsignathus. Um, so, you know, it kind of depends on what you want. Um, uh, sorry, not Comsignathus, Compsoraptor. So I really think Tarbignathus um, can save you some fuses on the, that unique hybrid. Um, but if you are a tournament-focused creature, Ankylodactylus and Dreddactylus is also um, a fantastic option for you. Um, or you could split up your attempts between the three. Totally up to you. Monday and Tuesday, we get 18 attempts at rares. We have Compsignathus Gen 2, which is a local four anytime. Preondactylus, which is a local one anytime. And Rodriguez Solitaire, which is an exclusive. We always say go exclusive. Um, however, Compsignathus Gen 2 is needed for Tarbignathus, which is needed for Compsoraptor, which is a fantastic creature. Preondactylus has two hybrids, which are very fantastic in the legendary format. So, you know, honestly, with the rares, normally we would say go for the exclusive, go for Rodriguez Solitaire, which does also have its own very good hybrid. Um, but it wouldn't be a bad thing if you went Compsignathus, um, Compi Gen 2, or Preondactylus. It's really kind of dependent on what you need for your team. Um, in addition to the event creatures that we have under the supply drops, we also have a flock-themed strike events, several of them throughout the week. We also have a flock scent on Thursday and Monday. And then we also have a um, Moros Intrepidus strike on Friday, um, an epic strike. So that's even more of that Moros Intrepidus DNA, which is a good thing. Um, we have another coin chase on Sunday. And of course, your usual health, speed, and attack strikes, um, boost strikes on um, Wednesday, Saturday, and Monday. It looks like, once again, we do not have any kind of um, emotion or emote strike or um, badge strike at all for this upcoming um, event. The next pursuit we are going to get, they have announced that, is going to be Anki the Moloch, and we're going to be getting Bumpy. So between September 14th and September 20th, we are going to have Bumpy available in the wild. That is normally an exclusive creature. So definitely get out there and dart that if you can, um, because that is something that you're not normally going to find. And Ankylomoloch is a really good creature in its own um, rights as a hybrid, but that also fuses into Ankylos Lux, which is still very, very good in the current um, arena and meta. 
We have a tournament this weekend. It is a rare and epic hybrid only, so it's the exact same tournament we had last weekend in skills, except it's going to be um, Advantage. And the rewards are Magenta Sucus and Titanoboa Gen 2 uh, DNA as the rewards. So good luck to everybody on that. Make sure to check out the Game Press website. We will have all of this information in an article, what to dart, what we think you should dart. And don't forget to um, check out that article as well to be able to get your um, hard cash. So if you scroll to the very bottom of the article, there is going to be a link and you click that link. It will take you in game and give you 50 in game hard cash for free. You don't have to do anything, but click the link. So don't miss that article. We do that every single week and that comes out on Wednesday. Um, lots of new creatures that we have had come out since the update last week. Lots of new information um, with data mines and other stuff. So make sure and hit subscribe so you don't miss any of the fantastic content that we have coming out soon. And thanks for listening, y'all.